that if you put liquid in it, hindi siya mag evaporate <laughs> Today we're going to make a recipe using my new slow cooker and we're going to make my favorite ribs. I already have ingredients in me so let's start cooking. So I have two slabs of ribs and beside it would be the spices for the dry rub. So for the dry rub we need sugar, we need salt, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, and garlic powder. We're just going to mix everything and then we're going to rub it on the ribs themselves. So let's start doing that. To make everything more sanitary, I'm going to wear some plastic gloves. So I would suggest doing the same so that you don't contaminate your food. So actually, super dali lang talaga ng recipe. So all we have to do is to prepare the meat. So we're going to put the dry rub on the ribs. Tapos, lalagay lang natin siya sa slow cooker and we're going to wait until it gets cooked. So as I mentioned in the past, we've cooked three dishes already with the slow cooker and everything came out perfectly. So we really love the slow cooker. So yung slow cooker ko is from Kiowa. I got the 3.5 liter variety. And I, I think for my family, we're a family of five or six actually. That's more than enough. You could put like a kilo or even more actually, like a kilo of pork or beef. And I know that's more than enough. Sober sober na siya. So if your family is bigger than mine, I suggest getting the bigger variety. If you live alone, I suggest get, getting the smaller variety. Tapos, the power consumption is just 200 watts. And I'm also very careful in choosing appliances because I don't want to spend like a lot of money on electricity because here in the Philippines it's really expensive so we really have to be careful we have to be choosy when getting appliances and for most of the cooking you would spend like four or five or six hours so you really need something that doesn't consume a lot of electricity so as you can see I'm just putting the dry rub on the rib so I'm doing it on both sides and my meron pa siya ng parang membrane on the back part. I'm not going to remove it anymore because I know that when this gets cooked, I want something to hold the ribs together. Kasi pag tinanggal ko siya and masyado siyang lumambot sa slow cooker, baka maghiwa-hiwala yung rib pieces. And I would like it to be whole para naman diba, pretty yung ribs natin. So I'm already done with like one slab of ribs. Now we're going to do the second one. The slow cooker that I have has three settings. So we have high, we have low, and we have auto. Most of the time, if we are on a rush, we use the high setting. Because in the high setting, you could cook anything for almost like four or five hours. So it's a lot faster. Tapos yung low setting, if you want to go low and slow, if you have a lot of time, you could do it overnight, so you could do it like five or six hours. And then there's an auto setting. Yung auto setting is for frozen goods, so kunya uh, galing sa freezer yung ribs. Um, you could use the auto setting, so it will go on high for as long as the food is still frozen. Tapos pag medyo lumambot na yung food and it's no longer frozen, it will automatically go to the low setting. So it will now continue cooking on low. So Yun lang yung actually functions niya. It doesn't have an internal timer or a built-in timer. So if you really want to time the cooking process, you would have to do it yourself. And for me, it's really not a big deal because a kitchen timer is really cheap. Or you could even use your cell phone uh, when using the timer, diba? So it's not really a big deal. Now, I'm done putting the dry rub on the ribs. Let's now put them in the slow cooker. So here with me is the ceramic pot that came with the slow cooker. I know that the slow cooker is of good quality because it's super makapal talaga yung ceramic pot. So now I'm just adding the ribs on the ceramic or in the ceramic pot. Yeah. 
Uh, you could do this two ways. Uh, if you're not using liquid to cook your ribs, you could put the meaty side on the sides of the ceramic pot. But since I'm using liquid to cook my ribs, I will just lay it down flat. So as mentioned, I'll be using a cooking liquid. And for this recipe, I want it to be fun. I want it to be unusual. So I will be using some cola. So you don't really need a lot. Uh, if you're using a slow cooker, you just need enough to cover the meat. So actually, hindi nga din kailangan like na super submerged siya. So if you put liquid in the slow cooker, it won't really evaporate really quickly. So the juices would remain in the slow cooker. However, if you want the juices to evaporate, for example, you're doing like a roast and you don't want it to be too liquidy, and you want the liquid to evaporate, you could simply remove the pot at the end of the cooking process, tapos it will slowly evaporate, so mas magiging concentrated yung flavor. Now let's add the soda. So when you're adding the soda, please make sure na hindi mo dun sa ribs ibubuhos yung soda. As much as possible, find a spot that's not occupied by the rib, tapos dun mo ibuhos yung soda para hindi niya man matanggal yung rub dun sa ribs. Kasi the rub is something really good. So just be really careful when you're doing this. So as mentioned, hindi naman kailangan like completely, completely submerged in ribs. So you just want enough liquid so that the ribs could cook. Now I will put it on the actual cooker. So it's really simple. You just put the lid. Tapos, you just plug in your appliance and then set it on high. So now my ribs are in the slow cooker. So it, right now, it's 7.30 a.m. I want to have this for lunch, so I will leave it for like four to five hours. And then afterwards, we would be using our turbo broiler or your air fryer. So it depends on what you want to use, honestly, just to make sure that you have like that barbecued feeling for your ribs. So these are things that I want you to take note of when you're using your slow cooker. So make sure uh, that during the first two hours of using your slow cooker, you're not tempted to open the lid. Because if you open the lid, it will release some of the steam, some of the heat, and it will have a difficult time reheating again. So the idea of a slow cooker is the cooking is slow and slow. Like, dapat consistent yung temperature when cooking. So that's the good thing about it. So iwan mo na lang siya. Tapos, you could check like four or five hours afterwards. <gasps> If you're contented with the softness or tenderness of your meat, it has been four hours. So now we can take our ribs out of the slow cooker. So now we can baste it with barbecue sauce and then we can use our air fryer and broiler. So we would then compare the results using the air fryer and the broiler. So come on, let's check those ribs out. Look at these ribs. So they're so tender. I haven't even basted them with barbecue sauce, nor have I broiled it, but it already looks so yummy. So now I'm putting barbecue sauce on both sides of the rib. The barbecue sauce that I'm using is the one from Rax. Turns out that my sister uh, got some food from Rax yesterday, so she also got some barbecue sauce. Uh, if you don't have like Rack's barbecue sauce, you could use any store-bought barbecue sauce. The only thing is, mayo mahirap kasi maghanap ng good barbecue sauce dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, but uh, I've seen some American brand barbecue sauce at the dollar store. Uh, the thing is, there's not a lot of dollar store here. So uh, if there's a dollar store near you, there's a chance that there's barbecue sauce there. And it could be cheaper than the grocery store, like almost half the price. So if you have a dollar store near you, go to that dollar store because you would have like better deals. So be generous with your barbecue sauce. Remember, we're layering more flavor. So it's already flavorful, pero you would want it to caramelize under the broiler or the air fryer para makuha natin and ma-achieve natin yung parang grilled na ribs. So I'm done glazing it with barbecue sauce. This bigger piece, I will put it under the broiler. And then the smaller one, sa air fryer. Kasi mas kashing smaller than sa air fryer. So this one, let's put it in the broiler. So while waiting for the ribs to completely broil and air fry, let's get some fixins. I prepared a lot of fixins for today because I'm really extra. 
So guys, these are the ribs out of the air fryer. It looks so good. It looks so juicy. It looks so legit. Like it looks like it's legit grilled. And these are the ribs out of the broiler. It's so big. It's so big. And it looks so juicy. So again, it also looks so legit. So as mentioned, I've prepared some fixings. So I have some mango sago for dessert. I have some corn. I have some coleslaw made using my mini food chopper. And these are our ribs. So let's dig in. Because I'm not an animal, I have some gloves with me. Guys, the ribs are so tender. They fall off the bones. Like literally, they already fell off the bones. I got some servings for myself. They look so tender. Now let's try it. It's so tender. See how tender that is? You could even put more sauce if you want. But because the rub and the glaze were so good, it's already so flavorful. So that's pretty much it for my rib recipe. If you like this video and you would like to see some more, please let me know in the comment section. I'm just starting out with my slow cooker and if you want to learn more recipe, if you want more in-depth review of a slow cooker, just let me know. As usual, the link to this recipe is in the description box below. And if you want to try it with your family and friends, please go ahead and share this video. Please follow me on all my socials, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Totally Alvin. I will see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye! Uh,